I've read the article analyzing the effects of test-driven development in GitHub, written by the authors listed on the screen. The article was first published online the 25th of November 2017. Test-driven development, or TDD, is a software development process where tests are written before the source code. The alleged main benefits of TDD is that it's more productive as well as it reduces the time spent debugging. The purpose of the study was to figure out how TDD is actually practiced in real projects and how it affected the development compared to a non-TDD approach. The authors was using five research questions to be able to draw a conclusion. The first one being, does the adoption of TDD improve commit velocity? According to the authors, this would be an indicator of productivity. To be able to answer this question, the authors extracted all the timestamps for the commits and calculated the average difference between commits in each repository. The second and third research question were, does the adoption of TDD reduce the number of bug fixing commits? And does the adoption of TDD affect the number of issues reported for the project? Both of these questions were designed to help figure out the number of bug fixes in the project. The fourth question was, is continuous integration more prevalent in TDD development? One of the most used tools for continuous integration, Travis AI, claims on the website that Travis AI helps to foster test-driven development. Therefore, it would be expected to see a correlation between TDD users and the use of Travis AI. By looking for a Travis YML file in the repository, it would give an approximate number of projects using continuous integration. The last research question the authors wanted to answer was, does the adaptation of TDD affect the developer collaboration? Their approach to test this was to count all the pull requests for each repository and use it as an indirect indicator of the level of collaboration in a project. Since the study includes all the Java repositories hosted on GitHub in September of 2015, the authors was using BOA, a language and infrastructure for analyzing repositories, as well as regular expression queries to automate the work of finding the data to answer the questions. The authors had some rules to decide whether a project would be considered practicing TDD. A. It should include test files. B. The test should be created before the implementation. And C. The project should have a high overall test coverage. Since not all TDD projects follow the process perfectly, the study includes repositories with varying degrees of success practicing TDD. In total, 256,572 Java repositories was used in the study. 16.1% of these contained test files and only 0.8% were considered to be implemented in strict TDD. None of the research questions showed any statistical difference between TDD and the control group. However, it seems as if there are a correlation between higher test coverage and using continuous integration. The authors mentions many threats to the validity of the study. The main ones being the use of regular expression and the file names to gather the data set, and the fact that the data is a byproduct of development rather than specific data for studying TDD. This may have resulted in the data giving a skewed image of reality. The study might also have reached another conclusion if other languages other than Java was included as well. The fact that the repositories in this study was open source rather than enterprise level might also affect the result. The conclusion of the study was there was no evidence for the claimed benefits of TDD since there is no statistical difference between the TDD-like projects and the control group. The other conclusion is that TDD is not a commonly used process. In the future, more work is needed to determine if the result is because of TDD or if there were other factors that have affected the results, as well as studying the economical effects of using TDD. Personally, I found this study very interesting, but it seems that some of the chosen approaches might have affected the results. For instance, the number of pull requests and reported issues can have also be a result of the nature of the project rather than the process. If a project is popular, more people are likely to interact with it, either by contributing or reporting issues, no matter the chosen process. Well, that's all. Thanks for watching.